to the shop. If you watched my last video, then uh, you know I've been having some problems with uh, solder fumes building up in the shop. Um, this is the uh, what the other motor was for in the uh, last video. It's a uh, I think it's a Hunter CFM Dayton squirrel fan uh, blower motor I had laying around. <coughs> I've been thinking about doing this for a while. Um, and the 8x8x8 LED cube made this a priority. <laughs> I didn't have any choice but to get it started and get it done. This setup pulls the fumes directly outside. There's no filtering, it just goes straight outside thought about using a little carbon filter and a little computer fan uh, it's just not enough if you're doing a lot of soldering joints maybe if you're just doing a couple here and there but if you're doing more than a few it's just not enough and I priced a uh, Metcow and Hakko you know uh, soldering fume scrubbers and you know, they start at 500 and go up so this cost mm, about a hundred bucks because I already had the, the fan this took three sections of ESD safe lock line, 20 feet of two and a half inch ESD um, dust collecting hose. Uh, there's a blast gate from lock line and then there's several fittings uh, to get it all together. Plus um, uh, a whole bunch of uh, nylon ties and uh, uh, the little sticky pads. I can't think of what they're called now. It actually took about a month to get all the pieces because one of the lock line sections was out of stock for almost a month. Still waiting on another section of that so I can extend it a little bit longer. I need just a few more inches and I also need a few more inches so I can secure this a little better. Right now it's just held on with uh, nylon zip ties. I've got these metal brackets <clears throat> I'm going to be using. Kind of like that and I go up there. Actually, I think I'm going to actually put it to the top of this board. I'm not sure yet. Finally got the last section of lock line and got it installed. It's much, much nicer. It gets closer to what I'm soldering to. And I, since it's longer, uh, I can articulate it around or above or on the side. And it gave me enough room too to attach those brackets right there, so it's extremely rigid now. To where before, with the zip line, uh, zip ties, it wasn't uh, wasn't very secure. It kept wobbling around, but now it doesn't wobble around at all. Love it. Been using this for a few days now, and it works extremely well. And I'm happy it didn't cost me an arm and a leg, and it was pretty simple to put together. Um, if you have the ability to put a hole in the side of your shop or whatever. Highly recommend this. is pretty cheap and it works excellent. Um, it's another way you can do it too if you don't want to put a hole in, or in the wall. If you've got a window, you can just attach a, uh, a fan uh, uh, to a board and stick it in the window and take it out when when you're not using it. <laughs> 